What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Uh, we've got a new AFL 23 trailer today. It has stuff from the old trailer with some stuff from the new trailer. It goes through Pro Team as well as a few other cool things. Let's get into it. Uh, it starts with the Sydney Swans running out to the banner. Um, and I think a lot of these banners, obviously they're trying, it says proudly Sydney there. Either you've got uh, either a recreation of the real world or just a really nice looking banner. So this is looking really crisp. You can see the Swans running out here. Uh, some AFLW teams as well. This is Port Adelaide, uh, the Bombers. Some of this footage was already shown in the original trailer, um, but we've also got this new trailer here as well that we're obviously going through to see what is happening. Uh, like this, this bombers clip was already shown in the previous trailer. Adelaide running through there, Port Adelaide as well. Um, and so a lot of this stuff was already shown in the previous trailer. So I kind of just want to skim through it and show you the bits that were new. If you haven't seen the original trailer, obviously go back and do that. Um, but obviously we're just going to go through a lot of the, the, I'm just going to go through a lot of the new stuff here. Um, you can see a really crisp version of the MCG now. Uh, compared to, I think, the previous one that we would have seen didn't have as many field sponsors. Obviously, you get the Telstra logo, the Rebel logo, um, the thing at the top, the Toyota logo at the top, and then the Premiership Season logo at the bottom. Um, so hopefully all this stuff is customizable as well when we get to different rounds of the year, like Indigenous Round and uh, Anzac Round Finals, Grand Finals, obviously, I would imagine that that's going to be the case. Um, and you're going to see you know various things like that. you got the Cup, um, and this is obviously the Grand Final because it's Sydney, and Geelong, packed MCC members there. Um, and as we said, like a lot of this footage was from the original trailer. There's some slight variations like this Jack Darling celebration. Um, bit of a weird reflection got on his chin there. But like a lot of this, as we said, was in the previous cut. Um, and here is something that I'm going to point out that may be different to the original trailer is if this is a grand final, in the previous one we had the grand final logo on the um, team kit, not currently in this one, whether that's going to be in, in there or not, don't know. Um, but if we look back at the original trailer, I'll show you a clip of it up now, um, we actually did have that grand final logo on the on the apparel of the, the, the Guernsey. Signature celebration here, Charlie with his motorbike. And then we get into some more of this fun stuff. Now, I imagine this is all trailer stuff, like the, the on the ground, uh, like like After Effects CG. But I just wonder if there's a if there's a possible way to do it like we see on like Fox Footy where they have, you know, the, the breakdown of each play and it kind of has the, the motion tracking of data and stuff. That would be really cool if that was in the game. Or like if you had the 3D logos and stuff pop up, um, that'd be kind of cool. More the augmented reality things going on there. Um, and obviously we transition here from what I think is the Gabba uh, to Optus Stadium, saying all the AFL and AFLW clubs. You've got the SCG here, the MCG again. And now we've got this introduction of Pro Team, which is, of course, going to be the ultimate team version of the game. Uh, and this is where we're going to get really stuck into how this works. So first one we've got here is Tom Hickey. He's a Ruckman. Um, his card is green. Now, I don't know what the difference in variations on the color of the cards mean, because obviously there's a few different colors that we're going to go through here now. So we've got Tom Hickey. He's 85 rated. Um, and this is your ultimate team style mode. Then you go to uh, Tristan Sherry here from North. Again, he's like a, a yellow. Maybe he's like a bronze or something. And Hickey's kind of like a mid-tier. So he's like green. And then you've got Toby Dan Curvis here. Who kind of looks like it's a bit more of a special card as well. Um, so unclear as to what the colors of the cards actually mean at this point, or if they are just like, you know, on a team by team basis, but I, I assume they're going to mean something. Um, and they, I have watched through this trailer. There is actually nothing to do with the legends in it either. There's no mention of that. Um, Jesse Hogan here for the giants. Uh, as you can see his card, uh, it does have forward on it there. As you, as you can see kind of underneath his armpit on the, on the right hand side. Um, and these, these cards are going to be based off, Physical, offense, kick, handball, and defense. The ruck ones, what were they off? Same sort of thing. So I assume that that's going to be the same for everything, which is a little bit annoying to some extent if you are trying to pick a ruckman. You'd like to probably know their ruck stats. So I don't know whether these are like, as we said, team specific or if they're just specific to what's happening. Um, and again, you've got more blue cards here. So maybe it's like the rating as well. All, all TBC up in the air. Um, Baz Lenka, 90 overall. Kyle Lankford is 86. So like, 
Um, obviously, Baz Lenka, 90, Kyle Langford, 86. I'm trying to get if, if the rating has anything to do with the, the color of the card. Um, because obviously, 85 is green, 82 is yellow, and then 88 is ruck. And then you've got 88 also, uh, sorry, uh, 88 also blue, 90 also blue, and then 86 is green. So like 85, 86 was like green, and anything below that was less. And again, Alex Pierce is like 89. Yeah, so I think that might be to do it. So like the blue is probably like your, your highest rated um, cards. Here we've got Alex Pierce, Tom Jonas, and Stephen May. Um, and then that pretty much brings this trailer to an end to a certain extent. Obviously, you've got Nick Dacos in there as well as there's a nice little ground ball spin. Now, this is actually one of the coolest things that I've picked up from this trailer, I mean, other than the little bit of leg hair there, is this is a pickup. Like, that is that is just a pickup. That is not a like a, a skill move executed once you've got the ball. That's a skill move executed as you're picking up the ball. Now, this is Scott Pendlebury executing, obviously, a, a blind turn here over, over Gresham. Um, I wonder if this is going to be a game mechanic, and I'm obviously very speculating here, because um, in the version we played, I didn't manage to do any of this. But if this is something that uh, happens with superstar players where they have this ability where it's like, hey, I'm actually going to win this footy. I have a really high ground ball rating. I'm going to win this footy. And I'm just going to blind turn out of the pack. You know, like that That could be something that we see happen um, in the game. Never know. Could could be the case. Uh, you got Dersma here with his bow and arrow celebration. Uh, Walters with one. There's Pendles again. And this is also really cool. Because watch this. I, I I know I'm like being a real nerd here, but like you watch Pendlebury with the ball. He looks inboard. Like he actually just looks. All right, where am I going to kick it? He literally turns his head to the right before he even does anything. Like he, he's looking. All right, I'm kicking it over there. And then obviously this might be another angle of the same thing. Like so you can kind of, I mean, but it's a bit later. So he's obviously had a bounce at this point. And then he's got like almost his own signature kick around the corner as in true Scotty Pendlebury fashion, you know, as Elliot takes a, a high-flying mark. Like, that is very cool in of itself. Um, we finish off here with Alistair Clarkson sort of going through some team tactics. Now, these could actually be tactics for the game, um, whether they are what's going to happen or not. Hang on, if I get my head out of the way here. You can see, like, this might be a high press for the forwards, uh, and leaving one one forward deep in the goal square, these guys are pushing up. So it could just be a direct correlation into what you are actually executing in game. It could just be completely random as well. We don't know until we try it. Um, and same thing on the kick out, whether you're overloading the right or the, the fat side of the ground uh, or the near side of the ground. Interesting to see whether again these are correct tactics or if they're just um, like just just there for show. Couple of different rooms here. It looks like the same room, just two different teams. Um, with obviously Richmond and, and Brisbane there, just executing, showing a few more nice looking faces. Um, in these cutscenes, I've noticed compared to the other ones, everyone is the same height. Um, obviously, Charlie Charlie Cameron here, the same height as uh, I'm having a mind blank here, Harris Andrews. But for the most part, it makes a lot of sense because it, it will be really tricky if everyone is holding hands and just being at a different weird looking height. Still kind of weird that they're all the same height, you know, but, you know, Shea Bolton and Robbie Tarrant, let's just ignore that for now. Uh, and then you've got the medal presentation as well here for the grand final. Uh, I believe that's Isaac. Is it Isaac Smith? Surely. Oh, actually, he does have the grand final logo on it. Hang on. If we zoom and enhance, <laughs> you can see he does have the grand final logo on his kit. So I know I said that earlier, but he does have it. There you go. And obviously Chris Scott down there as well. Not sure who's presenting the medal here. Um, and then AFLW as well. So you do see the grand final on the kit. Salwood, obviously a retired player, probably going to be in pro team as a legend. Everyone comes in. Party time celebration. Looks great on the podium and everything. And we finish. AFL 23 comes out in two weeks, um, which is grand. But obviously the main things out of this trailer... Is, is pro team being like properly announced uh, and you can see see the cards here and stuff. So there's plenty to look at. Huge stuff. Can't wait. I'm hopefully going to check it out at some stage next week. If I do, I'll bring you all of that as well. That's it. AFL 23, a brand new launch trailer giving us 
a big insight into the pro team, or not a huge insight, but a little bit of an insight into the pro team, how that's going to work, and uh, a look at some of the other possible cool features that we're going to see in the game. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.